Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have a lot of trucks, we have a farm system and camp. Let's call it a camp. Right, 30-ish uh, mods uh, released in the last seven days. I have to say there's a couple of modders making most of the noise these days about the mods being released. So it's uh, really, really, really interesting. So let's get cracking. Bill Mun 007 in Romanian five-story building, five floors. Romanian buildings, five floors. Description, I present to you five. This is by Bill Mun, not me. I'm just presenting it here, but he is presenting to you a five-floor apartment building from the city of uh, Ple uh, Ploiestia. Sorry, Romanians, for butchering this. I really, I'm really mad at this. Um, these houses were built between 1960-1970s in addition to... Uh, Ploiesti, 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 Ploie. Okay, these buildings were built in the Romanian, other Romanian cities. Yada yada yada. There's three buildings, 80% living uh, quality. So so. I mean, it's lower that I would accept myself to build lower than 80%. I wouldn't go, but 80% is okay. Uh, 30, 65, 80, and 160 people. Now, colors are beautiful i love the colors i love the color scheme but also i like how the color looks like look imperfections uh, how you would expect to look my, my my building where i used to live didn't have balconies but had these kind of similar like patterns like somewhere better quality somewhere a little it was like this it was yellow and red but uh, and this is kind of orangish brownish i don't know um, and the rooftops are quite quite similar. This is the um, the sewage and chimneys. So the sewage you have to have this like release thing uh, on the top of the building for not to create pressure in the sewage pipes and uh, uh, of course the heating for the if you want to heat with wood. Uh, personally, I do it with electricity, but uh, I used to do it with electricity. But you have uh, chimneys in every apartment if you want to connect to them. Okay, so this is a bigger building. This one has, let's get uh, G. This one has 160 uh, people living there. I will tell you now. Boom. This is absolutely realistic. The co the amount of people. These apartments that I used to live, there were 30 square meters. You would have a, like, my apartment was even smaller than this. And it was this size building. Two entrances. This one has four. And, no, absolutely. I have nothing to complain. I think it can have even higher capacity. So you have five floors. We have, let's say that there's even, like, 10 apartments on this side, 10 on the other, uh, that would be 20 apartments times uh, 4, that's 80 times 2, yeah, and, and this is even comfortable living, I think this is, I love the realism about this, these are keepers, and of course, as I said, my favorite mod this mod Monday, I'm gonna use the hell out of this. Anyway, how does it compare to the other vanilla buildings, let's go for this one, where is you, that would be this one here, uh, 111, oh, sorry, uh, the 11,000 rubles, that is, that is a little bit cheaper than the vanilla ones, but the quality is way down, quality is way down, so I think it's realistic, I, I don't mind, this is gonna be great, uh, not a cheating mode at all, link in the description of the video. Right, we have T600 underscore mod, old farm collection, old brewery, old brewery version, two, brewery version 2, old cattle house, cattle milking house, clothing factory, food factory, general storage, general storage version 8. There's a lot of buildings. You need to go and read underground radio station. Yes. Yes. Yes, um, it's the whole farm. Uh, you can build a half of your city, well, a half of the uh, uh, industrial area with uh, from these farms. You know, you can have a sweat sweatshops here. You can have the uh, these are the sweatshops. Uh, these are the uh, brewery, old school brewery. My personal friend that makes beer in something like this in old uh, uh, farmhouse grain. Flower storage area, which now it's like a brewery, so absolutely realistic. So, a uh, hundred uh, percent, and, and of course, it can be used as a farm themselves. This is the farm, and this is the uh, well, farm as well, uh, right? And this is the um, storage area where you hold the cattle like a cattle storage area. Anyway, holding pen for before it's processed. Absolutely beautiful thing. Now, how much it costs? What can we compare? Do we go for something? Let's go for the brewery. 
uh, brewery, small one here. Uh, I like beer, one of my favorite things in the world. So if we go to food and then alcohol and then go for the old brewery version two, whoa, 100 tons, 40 tons of alcohol per workday. That's a lot. I have to say that's a lot. 100, let's go. Whoa, why is this one smaller? Why is this one free? Okay, it's a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag of prices, how much it costs. Just a heads up, this bigger one produces more, by the way. But yeah, anyway, uh, 100,000 for a brewery for 40 tons of alcohol. It is way, way, way more than the vanilla one, only twice. Yeah, it's a little bit overproductive, I have to say, the brewery. Take that as you wish. For more details, link in the description of the video. Kamaz, the 6282 by Spirits. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing this, it's in Cyrillic. Uh, but anyway, it has Kamaz. I'm gonna try to translate from Russian. Kamaz 6282, uh, pass, uh, I, I will skip it straight away. It's, um, it's a cello viek, that means like the 85 people, uh, 75 kilometers v chasov or or hour 1980 and 1918 is the year when you can start producing start um, uh, using them making them and there's a lot of other stuff in, in Russian I do apologize I'm not that well I, I don't speak Russian that well colors are a little bit on the bright side I wish they were a little bit less cartoonish and more like you know realistic uh, I'm not saying like buildings that it should be but uh, definitely they're a little bit on a bright side I love Kamas as a brand I think they're great now let's try to compare them to some vanilla vehicles so let's go to buses let's go for total capacity and let's see where they fit you have Kamas here seven times rubles similar when your vehicles are KB 732 uh, that is faster faster and has the same capacity uh, that is a little bit cheaper so definitely not a cheaty mode there you go it's a really really beautiful model and if you want to use something like this link in the description of the video and the invisible mod and it's not really invisible it's DAF Deutsche Auto Fahrrad so correct me if I'm wrong I think it's 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 pronounced like that uh, it's a German um, truck company DAF D-A-F uh, trucks they're quite famous this is a uh, by Dima uh, Dima made this uh, the problem is that when you buy them the game crashes i will not do that there's an issue with them i think they are beautiful i want to have them in my game uh, and by the way yeah you have to buy them using dollars because they are west german german modern german uh, so you will not find them in the you will not find them in the uh you will not be able to purchase them using rubles now these are the trucks as you can see here they have color schemes but i cannot buy them i will not buy them it crashes the game i informed the mod maker about this uh, they look pretty bright here but it's different when you buy them versus the icon they have here so i can't really judge them if they are like this they are a little bit too bright in the trailer as well 36 ton capacity it's a little bit on a high side have to say that uh, the same uh, with the uh, with the open hull truck now bear in mind that this reflects reality I'm pretty sure it reflects re reality that this is how much they can hold 36 tons but uh, in this game this is on the high side can we compare to anything let's see the covered hull uh, unfortunately how did I choose exactly that we, the one that we don't have let's go for open hull um, it would be similar to marquee e model which is well way way smaller and it's a little bit more expensive so i would say it is a little bit cheaper with a bigger capacity take that as you wish for more details link in the description of the video the one the only the legendary Gonz Gonzalde no the Osborne Bull made by Gonzalo D created in 1956 by a geographic uh, graphic designer uh, Manalo Pieto uh, Prieto, uh, one of my friends' last name is the same, uh, for the beverage company Grupo Osborne to promote uh, Jerez uh, Veterano Brandy. Uh, the Osborne Bull uh, is an iconic billboard that consists of the uh, stylized silhouette of a fighting bull. 
uh, the billboards are distributed across the and throughout the entire Spanish geography. Yes, I saw them personally visiting Spain. Uh, generally located next to the roads and on the hills so that they in, uh, integrate into the horizon and facilitate their visibility. There is way more about this. I will not cover them. I'm going to just cover in the, in the game what it is. It is a monument. It has plus 0.3 percent loyalty this is next to nothing and if you want to place them very realistically they would fit it would be in the middle of you guessed it nowhere so it wouldn't affect anything so even if it's free it's not a cheaty mod it's just going to be nice decoration around your uh, roads um, as a monument well as a as a beautiful thing let's go with that now how much does it cost more than it probably should 300 rubles quite realistic for more details link in the description of the video one of the motors that is that they released a lot of mods this mod monday is t600 as we had the previous mod uh the farm one uh, underscore mod this is um uh camp let's call it a camp it's called resettlement collection a collection of uh, uh resettlement items education tourism residential should uh, and comment from the developer should work if it doesn't post here yes you should if you have any problems with <laughs> with placing this not problems this this is a camp it's a it's a camp for forceful or resettlement and and they're actually uh, called like that in the game it's forced resettlement daycare uh, officers barracks that would be the education the school and then you have the four three settlements flats these are the apartments 58 percent uh, quality of living which is <laughs> fair maybe even high and and they do have quite decent capacity we have the uh, school uh, that was the university sorry about it this is the university i'm pretty sure it's political one which actually brings us to the next point oh yeah and you have the mm, uh, a repurposed World War One sniper tower. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, controversial one, isn't it? Uh, again, barracks. This is the looks like university, right? Government loyalty. Yeah, we have two different universities. Let's check which ones are they. So if we go for this one, this is the political university, technical university, and we have all of them, even medical one. Now bear in mind, I did not build all of them. But let's compare this to the realism and see how much uh, is it is it cheaty or not. Universities are extremely expensive in this game to build. Medical university, 200,000. This one is 20,000. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this. I would easily say, yeah, it's a cheaty mod. It's, it's so, so, so cheap. But if you build the rest of the complex here, this is quite punishing. Like from the living conditions to the uh, uh, children they care. Well, actually, yeah, there's a lot of staff, but a lot of kids probably just sleep all day or something. And then we have the resettlement camp. This was, whoa, ho, ho, 900 people fit in this one. I don't know, guys, what this is, but <laughs> 900 people. Okay, let's let's compare that. For 900 people, 20,000 rubles. Uh, this is definitely more affordable than your average apartment. You know what? Take it as you wish. For more details, link in the description of the video. Full Chrome A and collection of ambulance buses. A collection of ambulance buses. Sanitary, one military pack, medivac, yada, yada, yada. You have the yeah, everything here. LAZ, LIAZ, PAZ. And uh, those are the three brands or dis designations you have, and there's five of them all together that you can see here. Now these are these are actually great as um, a medivac or transport of uh, wounded soldiers. So in this game, it's going to be a little bit more challenging to find the proper purpose. In real life, that would be great if you have them like coming to a village once a day and then you know treating the locals as a mobile hospital. Uh, but in reality, I think they're just a military style uh, vehicle. Now bear in mind, some of them have uh, multiple skins. Some of them will have only few. This one has zero. So this one has it with the white doors. Uh, this one is... Oh, this one is this. Are these the same? No, 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 this one is B, this one is E. So they're a little bit different, but I'm pretty sure they come in the same color schemes, similar color schemes. Anyway, how does how much does it cost compared to the other ambulances? Because this is what they do in this game. Uh, as you can see here, 4,000 rubles. Every single vanilla ambulance is uh, cheaper than this, so they're quite realistic in price. There you go. Link in the description of the video. 
Now, everybody, geography nerds, pause this video and le leave the comment in the comment section. Do you know what map this is? It's a real uh, map of a real area. Most of the rivers are now dry, but it's a real, real area. I know this area very well, never went there, but in many, many, many games, I, in transport games, I use it and I can recognize it from space. Right, let's go. Los Angeles, 1900s unpopulated by Cantavetti. Uh, Los Angeles unpopulated near 1900s, early start. You can donate me, blah, blah, blah. You have all this good stuff in there. Uh, tr -tr -tr LA, US, US, America, United States, California, West. These are probably just a, um, uh, the words uh, that you can search it by. But uh, you have a link in the description video regarding this map. Okay. So it's a Los Angeles area. Uh, for many of you who know this area, this is the only flatlands in the Central California, uh, on the coast of Central California. I remember a lot of video games I played where it, you you were trying to put like colonize this area, and uh, uh, it's really hard to get to because it's surrounded by mountains. Now you have a lot of flatlands here, but uh, you know it's very deserty. Uh, it has a lot of rivers, but recently I think there most of them are dried up. Only when you have flash floods, you have Los Angeles River, which is now canal. You know, I remember it from Terminator and a lot of other movies, just a concrete uh, canal. And of course you have I think this is the Long Beach here, and I don't know where. Exactly where Los Angeles li River, I think it goes in this direction, and I have Venice Beach here and Malibu in that direction. Uh, it doesn't say Venice. It does say Malibu border crossing. Now the interesting thing about this map, there's no Soviet border crossing. You can only uh, trade with them with ships. Everything else is NATO. This is what brings a unique flavor to this map. Uh, so it's either shipping with Soviets or or trade with uh, Americans. Anyway, uh, let's go with the resources. None coal. Iron is extremely limited in the mountains here. I think be, this is the, I forgot, I forgot what's the name of the central, it's not central valley, uh, just north of these mountains. And then you have these uh, uh, mountains are full of iron and then you have oil everywhere and uranium a little bit in the mountains and north towards the border and iron, uh, sorry, the bauxite is non-existent. So no coal, no bauxite, a lot of oil, a little bit of iron and a little bit of uranium. So definitely unique flavor. Uh, I did not play a map that has this kind of setup. And of course you have the mountains here in the south. I think it's perfect for some national park or wherever you see fit because there's not a lot of resources here. That's it. I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Right, like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, turn on the description of the video. Happy Monday, guys. Happy Easter. Uh, all that good stuff with one day late. Um, yeah, have a nice one. Bye bye.